ice rods have a tendency to ride around in sleds and buckets and things. And generally, they're very light. They have a very sensitive tip, and that makes them somewhat fragile. In the interest of not breaking your ice rod, you need to find a system that will protect them. This is one of those. What we're trying to do here is give you tips to make you dangerous. Okay, finally, after all that time, I got everything unloaded into my sled. Got the live scope. Got these guys, rod pods. We'll talk about those when we get on the ice. Um, Cause I love those things. I wish I had three, but they only had two left. Got one for Christmas for my brother, thank you. And then I bought one myself. I highly recommend them. So. These rod pods are super nice because there's different notches for different length rods. And all you do, you slide your rod out and it keeps everything super nice and protected in your car. So I know I travel in my car. This is a great way to do it. Now my rod's safe when I'm done for the day. It's as easy as sliding it in. And then you can throw it wherever you want it. If you leave your line threaded through the guides of the rod, you want to make sure that you loosen the drag on your reel because the handles are exposed on this system and if you turn that handle and your drag is tight, it'll try to bend the rod tip inside that tube and it can still cause breakage. The tip is the weakest section of the rod and that is where it'll invariably end up breaking. Just giving you another tip to make you dangerous. Thanks for coming this week. We'll see you on Friday.